in a month were harder for cash, Microsoft announced they're raising the price of their games to 70 having bravely spent a year holding back from doing so whilst they had no games, and the FTC announcing it was suing Microsoft, the little boy with nothing more than a dream and 68.7 billion was looking a little disheartened. We end 2022 with another story time. story. It was a season of jollity, festivity, charity, holly and berry, and goodwill to all men, with perhaps one exception. God rest you merry gentlemen, let nothing you dismay, remember Christ our Saviour was born on Christmas Day. Mr. Ryan, uh, during these difficult times, well, a few of us got to thinking, maybe you could lower the prices Ooh, for the poor to have some ease of meat, drink and warmth. Tell me, are they near prisons? Uh, there are. And the workhouses, they're full of vigour. They are. The price is stay the same, and I'll do you one better. I'll raise the price of the console too. Now good day. Good day, Mr. Ryan. M Merry Christmas. I said good day. It doesn't seem very nice. Well, the additional cost was to ensure quality of these current gen versions of cross gen games. Sony can't just be handing out free upgrades like these rich AA studios do. So what happened next? Jim Ryan sleeps sadly on a Christmas Eve night till awoken by the strike of a clock hitting 1am. <coughs> Just a bit of beef. Fragment of an undercut potato. Tell me, apparition. Are you a pleasure? Or nightmare? Head. Very well. So much money. 68.7 billion dollars in cash. What's up with the lad? 
Imagine they're playing with the others. Because they don't have any major, uh, 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 you know, uh, first party games this year. Well, is that my problem? It is no problem, money can't solve. Call of Duty is now first party. Over my dead body. Ha! <laughs> Listen, Sony being in trouble is an understatement. We will see about that. The games are exclusive. They're not going to PlayStation. And you look at how dominant Xbox has made its platform with Xbox Game Studios, Bethesda, EA Play, Ubisoft Plus just announced, and now Activision and Blizzard becoming first party. Well, it seems pretty dire for PlayStation Nation. This deal pushes Microsoft ahead of Sony's PlayStation, and I don't even think it's a question. This is a generational win for Team Green. All right, enough now. No more. Xbox will dominate. Read all about it. Microsoft tries to buy Activision. College at the office for several years. Microsoft CEO very confident. Jim Ryan, Jim Ryan, Jim Ryan. Well, hello, and my goodness. Spirit, take me where you will. But if I ought to learn, let me profit by it. What happened? Who's that crying? Uh, Phil Spencer. <laughs> and what's up with the lad now? Sony is bullying Phil Spencer. Bully? A trillion dollar company? Ah, uh, humbug. Most of the other third party publishers and businesses don't have a problem with this deal. Uh, it, but the only one that seemed to have a problem and voiced their concern regarding this uh, this uh, this acquisition by Microsoft was Sony. I'm just looking after my players. What am I supposed to do the same? Raise console prices. Unprecedentedly, by the way. Raise games and make $70 games the standard. Charge us for $10 to play an upgraded version of a game that Microsoft allows for smart delivery for free. Sh should I keep going? $18 tier for PlayStation Plus Premium that doesn't give you new games day and date? Microsoft has said, hey, listen, we were going to give them three additional years. The deal's no good enough. 
it's absolutely pathetic that Sony would cry for Sony. You're the only one crying here. Somehow gamers or consumers are not important to Sony. We release games. We'll see it on this year rather than spend daddy's money. He ought to try marketing outside America. There's a reason why the richest company's in third place, and it's near to do with me. Sony are potentially trying to play themselves as the victim when clearly they are the bully. The amount of lies, the fact that they are touting Game Pass is this ultimate destructor, he, the, 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 coming from the heavens above to destroy the world, part of the four horsemen of, of the apocalypse, is a lie. Ah, uh, you're saying something different before, lad. I don't like Sony. What was that under your rope? Bobby Kotick. Disgusting. to show me shadows of things that are not yet happened. But will happen in the time that lays ahead of us. Goes to the future. I fear you more than the others. Lead on spirit. Shadows that will be. Or maybe only. This is the canary in the coal mine. <laughs> Offered PlayStation a ten year deal. I don't like Sony. I just don't like the way they, they do business. Read all about it. Sony looking after gamers. CMA investigating deal. FTC sues Microsoft. So he didn't learn a lesson? No, little miss. He did not. Well, what's the point then? The point is to never give up. Because you'll always get a better deal. Read all about it. Gamers say to stop merger. Tell me, what day is it? Why, it's Christmas Day, mister. Aye, and a Merry Christmas it is too. <laughs>